I'm Gary Sliman, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Today's topic, career checkup. What are you doing about a career checkup? In our health, we go to the doctor on a regular basis to get periodic checkups, and sometimes there's episodic things that we go to the doctor for. So what about your career? Do you, are you doing anything on a periodic basis to make sure you are as healthy in your career as you want to be? I'll give you, I have a number of stories here, but let me, let me just give you one right off the bat to just kind of put, you, put it in perspective. So suppose, um, well actually I had this individual come to me who she's in her career, consultant, got hired initially as an associate consultant, came on board two years, promoted, which is about the time frame she expected, consultant now for another three years, so she's five years in, and she expected by this time to be have made partner so that she would run a team, a small team of consultants, but she's not there yet. She's in year six, overall and she's thinking I'm not sure where this is where this is going would a career checkup along the way have helped her and say yep I need to move or I need to stay or this is why I need this is why I need to move I think yes and I think in any of your positions think of your career where you are now what if you periodically checked up what on how you're doing what's the health of your career my opinion and I've done this with a number of individuals I think there are two big areas where you need to take a look. Number one, professionally, long-term, short-term. Am I where I want to be professionally? And personally, am I where I want to be long-term, short-term? And let's take some subcategories under each of those. This is when I people come to me, and I've had a number come to me, hey, I'm not sure where I am. I want to build, I want to get a good idea if I need to move or not. So I help them build clarity around it. And these are the things that we look at. Professionally, professionally, what are the role? Where do you want? What's the position you want to be in, and when the roles and responsibilities? Position, roles and responsibilities. Long term, short term. Wealth, what kind of money do you need to be making? And it's not just it's not just money. Healthcare, four hundred one k. Can my kids go to private school? Oh no, we're doing the public school thing. Am I putting money away for college? All those kinds of things. So, professional position, wealth. Health, how are you doing as far as health with your job? And what about leadership role? That kind of goes with the professional part I started at the beginning. What about your leadership role? So those are four areas that I think you should take a look at. Next, personally, where are you personally? So if you look long-term, short-term at these four areas, I think you're gonna kind of capture uh, what you need. Number one, relationships. How am I doing with my relationships? And there could be some professional relationships there. Two, how about the fun side of things? The work-life balance, fun, leisure, recreation. Connect those things in there. Three, personal growth. How am I growing? Am I growing the way I want to grow? And number four, am I giving back to society? Or if I'm a spiritual person, religious, what am I doing on the religious side? Now, I separated them professionally and personally. You can't completely separate them. You can't do them in a vacuum because they affect each other. You bring your whole self to work, and you bring your whole self home. So when you look at this, these are two areas to kind of take a look and kind of put them together. Okay, so what happens? When I work through this with individuals, what do, what do, they, what do we find out? Well, they start building some clarity. You know, and for that gal who individual was doing the consultant, ended up staying because once, built, once she built some clarity around, if I move, starting over, how do I start? The money I'm making now, my potential to move. She got real clarity around where she was and some actions she was going to take to get herself moved along. Clarity. So a checkup on some kind of regular basis and use these categories as a starting point. This is a good place to get yourself started. Okay, before we close, let's talk about episodic. If you have any triggers that you have, professional triggers, things that, oh, that's a shot of adrenaline, or you're constantly feeling I'm not liking the way things are going. You're feeling those kind of things. I call those epics, episodic indicators, and you probably need to do something about it. If you're driving up to work and you put your head on the steering wheel going, I'm not sure about today, you probably need to do something and get yourself to a point that you're feeling healthy about walking in that building. So that's a case of just like, you know, when you're not feeling that great, you're like, ah. Oh, uh, this thing hasn't passed. I think I need to do something about it. Same thing at work. 
there's usually triggers you get some kind of episode that's a reason to kind of stop pause take a take a look at it and if you use those same areas it can probably help you build some clarity about where you are today how healthy you are and whether you should continue down the path that you're continuing down hope you found that helpful I'd welcome the opportunity to work with you contact me for a complimentary coaching session thanks for listening see you in the next video